This video is for those people who have been living in Italy for at least five years and then you are due to get the application of EU Lungo Pirodo. There are many of our people, there are many African people living in Italy. They are due to apply for the EU Lungo Pirodo known as Escata Sojourno Long Term Permit or 00 Illimitata. But due to the fact that they don't know the guideline, what and what to do, the process, what is even all about, many people don't know the meaning of EU Lungo Pirodo. And then at the end of the day, it will not be that you are due to get this kind of document, but lack of information, not knowing what to do, then it will escape you. Now, Prince TV have come to state to you guys, every single thing you have to know about EU Lungo Pirodo Escata Sojourner, how you can apply, what is this document all about, I'm here to state articles to you guys. Sit tight and then enjoy this video. Now know how I take the wrong my update say, as the video take be, if you get sensitive, I go sit down like this, run and give on As updates take day now, so I take the full on. Now listen attentively for those people who have been living in Italy for at least or five years, to now know, listen and know if you can apply for this Escata Sojourner, known as EU Lungo Pirodo. He said here, for those living in Italy more than five years, Permesu Lungo Pirodo Escata di Sojourno. And listen to what they are now stating. He said, if you are a migrant or refugee who has been regularly living in Italy with a valid permesu for the past five years, you may be able to apply for a permesu di sojourno, EU per sojourninati di lungo periodo, EU long term permit in English. Now listen to what they are now stating. He said, also known as Escata di sojourno, permesu illimitata or 00. He said, this permit prevents you from being expelled from Italy unless for several state security reasons. He said, and enable you to participate in some form of local public life. For example, you can vote in referendum at the municipality level. This permit is also valid as an identity document. Now, if you have Escata Sojourno, Iju Lungo Periodo, you have the right to vote. You have the right to go for election, you know, try to vote for anybody who you like. So that is one thing you have to know about this. He said, the EU long-term permit also allow you to regularly work, study in another EU country with exemption of Denmark, Ireland. So if you have this long-term permit, Escata Sojourno, you can also work in any other European country with the exemption of Denmark and Ireland. That is what you have to know. He said, to do so, you will have to request a different permit to the authority of the EU country you would like to move to. He said, by doing that, you will not lose your Italian EU long-term permit. Note that each um, um, EU country has its own rules to give permits to holders of EU long-term permit released by another EU member state. So, if, for example, you want to apply for work, other European countries, you get some documents. Where would they tell you something you bring again? Now, we they try to explain for this part. Now, listen, he said, Who can apply? Now, let's see who can apply for this long term permit, which is known as Escata Sojourno. This is a fresh video, current what you have to know. This is what I'm not stating to you. Now, let's see who is eligible. He said, To be eligible to apply for the EU long term permit, you must. Have a valid permit of stay that enable you to apply, meaning you must have a permit to the sojourner. Now listen, he said, have been regularly living in Italy for at least five years. And now and again, have a minimum yearly income equal or above social check. Then have the resident registered in an Italian commune municipality. That is your carta de identità, those kind of stuff. Now listen to this part here. He said, if you do not hold the refugee or subjective protection status, you also must have an A2 Italian uh, language level. Now, let me break this place down. This one, I be the question, I be like, say, most of you are going to ask. Say, yes, if I not get A2, if I apply for Escata Sojourner, EU Lungo Pirodo, now let me explain to you guys. If you have asylum political or subjective protection, you do not need the A2 to apply for this document. 
But some questurers, they will still need it from you. But according to law, if you have um, a social protection and an asylum political itself, five years document, you don't really need this certificate. But most questurers, they will still say may bring the certificate. So that is the answer to the question. Another one again is get the certificato the idionita allogativa hard stability certificate that is your measurement of the has some questurers they don't still they ask for this one but it is important you have it as well that means that person need to get the measurement of the has when it is state now listen to another one again he said to apply for this permit so you will also have to submit your criminal record so your criminal record will be submitted most of now they ask we have to get the criminal record now for tribunal and go fit a request for that criminal record he said however this does not mean that if you were uh, convicted of any crime your application will be automatically rejected he said it would be rejected only if you were convicted of a list uh, of specific crime people dangerous uh, for the public order and state so if you don't commit any crime maybe you the same market or they don't catch you, say you steal. Anything at all, like say you don't commit, they need to know. If you commit any crime, at the end of the day, they will reject your application. That is what they have stated on this part. And let's go a little a bit forward. Now listen, he said, you must have a valid permit of stay to apply for this permission. However, you cannot apply for it if you hold this type of document. Now listen to where is very important. That is why I'm always saying that if you have your special protection document two years, it is good you convert it to motive of work so that you can apply for this EU Lungo period. Now, if you have this type of document, which I'm going to mention here, you cannot use it to apply for EU Lungo period until you convert them to motive of work. Now, listen to the documents which you cannot use to apply for it. Number one is permissible per protection speciality. So if you have protection especially two years, if you did not convert it to motive of work first, you cannot apply for EU Lungo period. Another one again is permesso per uh, protection temporanium, permesso per request asilo, uh, permesso per cura medica, permesso per casi speciali, permesso per calamita naturale, permesso per uh, studio. You know, different kind of permits. You need to convert all these documents into a work permit either lavoro subordinato or that of autonomy before you can apply for eu lungo period that is what they have stated it has been there for long but many of now now will still they ask now prince tv have let you know this evening and listen attentively he said at least five years in italy so you must have resident here in italy for five years most of now they ask now when i get my six months permit to sojourn on, I've been and when they give me the document. Now listen, he said here, you need to have been living in Italy for at least five consecutive years holding a valid Italian permit the sojourner. He said, your stay in Italy is considered uninterrupted if you do, did not stay outside the country of more than six months at once. Overall, not more than ten months over the five years unless for serious um, reasons such as several health issues. He said, this holds true if you respect the traveling rules. So you see, before you apply for this EU Lungo period, for that past um, five years, all these things, most questurers, they will put them into consideration. The majority of the questurers, they don't look into all the situation. But this is the law. That is what I'm stating to you. When do I start calculating my five years in Italy? He said, if you have subjury protection or refugee status, you can start calculating your five years from the moment you fill your asylum request by submitting your G3 form. Now let me explain this place well. Many of you are going to ask, when I go first start to the count the five years that they talk about? Now this is what they have stated here, of which I've already made this video as well, trying to explain to you guys. If you get as low political or that of the subjury protection, the moment when you fill your cheat three form, when they ask you your son name, when you take enter Italy, that particular time when you take there for camp, then you get your six months permission to sojourn. Or that moment, then you start to the read. So you can't from that time up to now. If you don't reach five years, 
then if you get as low political or that social protection you can go and then apply for this eu lungo pirodo that is what you guys have to understand now listen to this particular one he said if you have other permit for example work or family permit you can start counting the five years uh, from when you receive your first permesso now this one might be the law where they put for you but in reality to explain to you with experience letting you to know how it function even with that um two years protestionist specially or case special any of the documents where you hold after we don't convert them to motive of work like what also body not to obtain more then you first still use that six months on start to the count then go apply majority of the questioners will tell you say now when you convert that document it go start to the read but many questioners it go still accept like that since it be say you first get permission to the sojourner when you arrive for the country so this one might be something not clear because many people they be like say after they don't convert their documents to motivo di lavoro subordinato small time they go go apply for eu lungo period they go accept but now few questioners now not they accept so this one I know if you give you a direct answer, it is when you go to your questura, that is when you get to know. So that is just it. Uh, this is a little bit update from Prince TV relating to EU Lungo Pirodo. If you have to apply, what you have to know, that is what I've just stated to you. If you enjoyed this video, do what to give me thumbs up and then you share out to others and go know how all these things they play. Now know me, how the matter they be, now so I go take table given and I go see how things they be. I greet all the fans of Prince TV. Respect.